Hey, it's colorful and it's fun to say. Corn succotash. And in today's Florida cooking segment, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Da. Let's get started. You guys ready to make some succotash? Yes. All right. Chad? I'm ready, man. All right, I got my pan on, about medium high heat here. Okay. And then we're gonna start by sauteing a few things. A little garlic, a little onion. Okay. We're gonna make this happen. And it's just really just start throwing stuff in a pot. That's it. I got my spoon. You always start with butter every time. Just a little bit of butter. A little butter. Okay, butter going in there. A little onion, nice and fine dice. Nice. You gonna stir that up? You, Where's my stir? I thought you had a spoon. Oh, I do have a spoon right here. This is a good what time you got? to use my. This is my spoon. What is that? This is a part spoon, part orange. It's a sporn. Oh my goodness. You've heard of the spork? Yes. Little, little cousin. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh. All right, we come in here. Thank you. Thank it's not you. the most practical tool in the world, but it does work. We come All right. in here. We got it. We got our oranges and our butter in here. They're caramelizing nicely. I'm gonna quick chop a little bit of garlic. Get in there. We want some good garlic flavor, don't we? Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay, so the garlic's in there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some smoked sausage. Okay. If you don't like pork sausage, you go with some little leaner turkey sausage or something. But this smoke flavor is gonna give it a mm. good. Now a we're little talking. bit of smokiness going now is this, on in Now here. is this the tash? This uh, or is this, part of the tash? This is the sucker. This is the sucker. That lime juice looks like the sucker. Yeah, that, well that's true, you're right. <laughs> Alright, so we really want to get our sausage in here. We want to get a little brown caramelization on here. Mm. Starting to smell good. When this gets a little caramelized, we're going to add our corn. Okay. Now this, one of my favorite things, my friend, Florida sweet corn. And you guys know that Florida produces a whole lot of corn. But most of all of our corn goes as fresh market corn. So it's the exact corn you see at the grocery market. It doesn't get processed into other things. It comes just like this as nature intended. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the kernels off here. It's a nice, easy way. You want to set the flat part of the corn down on the board. I got a serrated knife. I'm just going to run it down just like this. Oh, nice. All right, now that's nice and caramelized, let's go ahead and add our raw corn. Mmm. A whole bunch here. There we go. That's a corn party in there, Chef. Corntastic. I also have some green peas here. You don't necessarily have to use green peas. Lima beans were great with this dish. Okay. But I like green peas. All right, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and add our peas here. Now it's a pea party. We're mixing corn and peas. Looking good though, Chef. All right, we definitely want to season this. A little pepper. Oh, we're talking. A little sea salt going in. Try to keep it in the dish there, Chad. All right. I got a little bit of hot sauce. We're gonna go in here. Just your mm. favorite hot sauce is gonna just give it a little bit of kick. Mm. Now time to add the sucker. Sucker. Here we go. Lime juice going in. Ooh. It's gonna give it a good tang. I got some great Florida tomatoes here that have been diced mm. up. This is gonna add some great texture and a little bit of good extra flavor in here. Uh, let's chef, put these in. Yes. Uh, what if I, let's just say I don't like tomatoes. Can I use something else? Absolutely. That's a great question. At this point, I would use some zucchini or some squash would be a great addition to this. Okay. Tomatoes going in. And finally, we're just going to add a little bit of parsley for a little bit of color in there. All right. I'm starting to get wore out here. Chef. A little re-season. <laughs> and I think we're about there. Okay, this is looking good, chef. Nice, simple dish. Fun. You know, this dish was born out of the Depression time here in the United States when there was a little bit of money to go around and yeah. needed to make a, a good tasty dish out of common ingredients. Let's keep it in the pan there. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and plate this up. Plate this sucker. I'm just going to spoon this in. Mmm. Mm. Beautiful. Okay. That does look beautiful, Chef. And here we have it. Chef, what would we serve this with? This is another great question. I would serve this with just about anything that you like to eat, whether it's fresh seafood or pork chops or chicken. I think it would go great with just about anything. It's good to have all these different colors in our dishes, and it brings all kinds of different textures and flavors. You definitely want to eat your colors. Eat your colors. Well, I'm That's ready. Right. I'm ready to eat. Let's taste it. All right, you guys ready to taste this? Ready, ready, yeah. ready. All right, let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Impressive. I'm liking that. Simple ingredients, but great flavors. Yeah. Really good. Well, and that smoked sausage and that Tabasco, mm. it gives it a nice little kick, you know? Mm -hmm. It's got a nice thing to it.